And welcome back. Now, the local racing fraternity has been plunged into mourning following the death of one of the country's greatest ever trainers, 18-time champion Wayne Da Costa. Spencer Darlington looks back at the career of the legendary conditioner. The master conditioner who had been hospitalized in the intensive care unit at the University Hospital of the West Indies for the past few weeks, battling complications associated with the COVID-19 virus, died on Tuesday night. Da Costa started out as an assistant trainer to another great, Philip Fiani, in the mid-1970s and went on to ply his trade for over 40 years. He eventually won all of the major races on the local calendar and saddled a total of 2,290 career winners up to the time of his passing and was the island's all-time leading trainer. He took that accolade on April 23, 2016 when he saddled Super Cup to victory moving to 1,951 wins to overtake the previous record holder Philip Fiani. He won his first trainer's championship in 1984 and achieved a grand total of 18, the most by any trainer in Jamaica. In 2002, he formed a lethal combination with five-time former champion and record-breaking jockey Trevor Slicer Simpson to saddle 108 winners, the most by any trainer in the island in a single season. Among the great horses that Da Costa trained during his illustrious career are 2017 Triple Crown winner She's a Man Eater, 1996 Triple Crown winner War Zone, 2015 and 2016 Diamond Mile winner Seeking My Dream and Thornbird, the 1984 Derby winner. He saddled seven Derby winners, including the most recent King Arthur, who landed the 2020 edition. In 2013, he received a national honor when he was awarded the Order of Distinction, rank of officer for his contribution to sports. In 2009, he was inducted into the local Thoroughbred Racing Hall of Fame, while in 2016, he was given the RGR Gleaner Sports Foundation Chairman's Award. The last winner from his stables was the oldest stager, Hovercraft, who captured Sunday's Louis Hitchens Memorial Cup over 9 furlongs and 25 yards. Da Costa, who was 65 years old, is survived by his wife Elizabeth, son Jason, who is also a trainer, and daughter Stephanie. And us here at the Arjia Glina Sports, we send our condolences to the family and friends of Wayne Da Costa.